hey welcome back okay so this is part two of my baby diaries yeah <laughs> so today i'll be telling you things that we've been doing and steps we've been taking to help us get to that place where we are pregnant and having a baby so if you're interested in what we're doing and what seems to be working for us i hope <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> let me introduce you Thank you so much for stopping by. So this series that you're watching is my baby diaries series. And I started, this is the second one. This series pretty much chronicles our journey to having our first babies, baby, <laughs> whatever the case might be. In my previous video, I talked about from when we got married, deciding to wait and then being ready and trying for months and nothing happening <laughs> so like i promised at the end of my previous video i'm going to be sharing with you today the things that i've been doing that my husband has been doing as well that we've both been doing to help us prepare and help us help our chances of getting pregnant number one as a woman trying to get pregnant you have to be tracking your ovulation I've been tracking my ovulation. You have to know when you are most fertile and you know most susceptible to getting pregnant. So for me, the best way I could do it was to download an app. Well, I downloaded this app way before. I downloaded it way before. I downloaded it even whilst we we're not trying to have kids. Do you understand? So when we decided we were ready, I just changed my aim and my goal on the app. This app is called Flow, the app that I use. It was the easiest for me and it's quite detailed as well. The app is called Flow, F-L-O. That's what I use. This is the app right here. So this app that I use is called Flow and it tracks your ovulation and uh, dates that you're most fertile. They'll tell you, you know this is the period that you you're going to be on your period this is when you're going to be on your relation this is when you should really be having sex if you're trying to get pregnant and all of that and then it also has a community tab that i really like because it allows people to have conversations and just share their stories and all of that and their experiences and stuff trying to get pregnant or not and I found it very um, enlightening and educative and you know it just makes you feel like okay you're not the only one out there there are people that are also trying and they are doing different things so yes number one flow that's the app that I use you don't have to use flow but you can look for any other app that works for you just make sure you're track you're tracking your ovulation and your period and you know when you're most fertile number two multivitamins yes vitamins <laughs> i actually started taking uh, multivitamins before like towards the end of like right before we started trying um i started taking for a while but then i was like it doesn't seem to be working and then i stopped but then i resumed again so let me show you the multivitamins that i'm taking and the ones that he's taking as well so the first one is one a day hi this light, eh? Okay, that's better. <laughs> One a day prenatal multivitamin. It has uh, folic acid, DHA, and iron, which are three vitamins that your body needs to have in excess, in fact, <laughs> to that help your chances of getting pregnant. So this is vitamin that multivitamin it was almost finished i need to get another one that i've been using it's called one a day women's multivitamin multi mineral supplement yeah also this was the one i started with actually i started from this then i went to this one this one is the nature made prenatal multivitamin dha this also has folic acid dha and iron i don't know why but i started with this one i stopped and then went with this one but i guess either of these would be good they're really just multivitamins for they say it's for when you're trying to get pregnant 
when you're pregnant and even after being pregnant so this also works as well now this is the one that my husband takes it's called men's one and this one is just a not just multivitamin for his own body and all of that uh, it's not particularly towards helping your wife or significant other get pregnant and it mentioned to me that it does feel a burst of energy whenever it takes this that it helps him through the day when he takes it it's called men's one rainbow rainbow lights rainbow lights men's one seems to work well for him and last but definitely on the list, this one is actually finished. <laughs> this one is made in Nigeria. This is a blood tonic, uh, MIM. It has iron, which like I said, you need, B complex and zinc. And it says it's a multivitamin. It, it comes in, see, it's like practically finished. It comes in pills, in tablets, and it comes in tonic. But since I'm already taking this, as a tablet so i decided to just go with the blood tonic instead but they do the same thing so either you get the tablet or you get this one it also helps with your uh, immune system and your vitamins and uh, blood cells and all of that so this is actually quite good as well yeah so those are the vitamins and multivitamins that we've been taking to help both of us in terms of what we're ingesting of course he has to watch his sugar intake it cut down significantly on his sugar intake you know you don't you don't want your husband or your significant other to be consuming so much sugar if you're trying to get pregnant drink a lot of water eat fruits we're always eating tomatoes and uh, cucumber and uh, broccoli you know just vegetables so that you have a balanced diets so i've talked about three things so far i've talked about me tracking my ovulation using an app i've talked about the multivitamins that we used i've also talked about the kind of food and vegetables that we eat last but definitely not the least pray 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 because at the end of the day it's all in the hands of god is the one that makes babies is the one that blesses with babies so you just have to pray uh, i consistently pray about it we pray about it together i pray about it alone let me let you guys in on something there was two i don't want him to hear <laughs> and i caught my husband laying his hand on my stomach i'm praying yeah he didn't tell me i just i just saw him. I was like what was he doing I just, uh, I was speaking in tongues and I was just like, okay, well, amen. <laughs> Do you get so? I mean, so I mean, you know, uh, I feel so shy talking about it. <laughs> but yeah you know just just pray just tr trust god confess the word uh we constantly do we constantly pray when we're in church together we hold hands we pray together you know and we just trust god that it will happen so yeah but those are the things that we've been doing those are the things we've been doing um so far based on all my research and uh talking to of course talking to my parents talking to my mom my sister you know my friends whatever not a lot of friends yeah. just talking to my sister and my mom and all of that just generally ensuring that i'm you know putting myself in the right position to be able to get pregnant and all of that but those are the things we've been doing what do you guys so what do you guys think for the moms out there what did you do that worked for you or if you're trying to get pregnant what have you been doing that seems to be working out for you let us know down below in the comment section let us share ideas let people learn from what works for you by no means am i prescribing medical advice this video is all about what i am currently doing and that i feel comfortable doing okay i'm not a doctor i am not a doctor <laughs> but really guys whatever your thoughts are please leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in part three and yeah i'll keep letting you in on how the journey is going uh, yeah well that's it thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you aren't and i'll see you again very very soon remaining god and god bless you bye